All right then gang, so now we have all of our actions complete. Our sign up one, our login one, and our logout one. And every time we do one of these, we commit a mutation, this one right here, to update the user state to reflect what just happened. So if a user signed up, then the user state would become that new user object. If a user logged in, then the user state would become the user object of the user who just logged in. If a user logged out, then the user state becomes null. And we can use this state now in any component in the application. And that's what we're going to do. I want to use it first of all inside the navbar because I want to do two things. I want to output the user email if they're logged in. And also I want to conditionally show different links to a user dependent on whether they're logged in or not. If they're logged in, I only want to show these two links and this one. And if they're logged out, I only want to show these two links and this one. Okay, so let's try and grab that user state value, first of all, inside this component. So what I'm gonna do is inside this return statement down here is access it directly. So I want to also return a property called user so we can use it in the template. And the value of that is gonna be declared right here. It's gonna be a computed property. And remember, we need to import that. So let's do that as well. Import computed from view like so. And then the computed property is a function and that returns a value. Now the value is gonna be the store, which we have access to right here, dot state dot user to get that user property on the state. So now we have access to that in the template, that user. So let's first of all come up here and say logged in as, and instead of dot dot dot, we're gonna output the user and then the email property on it. Remember, the email is a property on that user object that we've seen inside the console when we've logged it out. Now, that's the first thing. Also, I only want to show these links when we have a user value. So I can say v hyphen if and set that equal to user, like so. And I can do something opposite down here. I can say v hyphen if not a user. So now, if we have a value for the user, it shows these links, but if we don't have a value for them, it doesn't. So only when we're logged in will we see these links. And now if we don't have a value for the user, if they're logged out, we see them. And if we do have a value, then we don't see these links. So this now only shows for logged out users, all right? Now, before we preview this, I want to do one more thing. I wanna to go to the home component, and right here, we output these icons to either upvote or downvote an article. Now, what I'd like to do is only show this to logged in users. So again, I can access the store, which I am doing, and I'm not gonna log this to the console anymore. Instead, I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I'm gonna say we want to return a user property, which is a computed value, and we need to import that up here as well, computed. And inside here, in the function, we want to return the store dot state dot user. So now we have access to the user inside this template as well. And I only want to output the icons if we have a user. So v if is equal to user. So now if they're logged in, we see these things. If we're logged out, we don't see those things. All right, so let's give this a whirl then. All right, so cool, this is working already. We can't see these little icons down here. And also we can't see the logout button and the email address in the navbar. So that means we're logged out right now. So if I try to log in, I'm gonna say Mario at NetNinja dot dev and then test one two three four five i'm going to log in and when i do that i get redirected now i see the different things in the nav bar i see the email address and the logout button and i also see these things right here but when i log out they should switch again log out and they do awesome the same thing is going to happen when i sign up i'm going to sign up as peach at net ninja dot dev and then test one two three four five sign up and now we can see peach at netninja.dev and log out and we see the icons again. Awesome, this is all working. However, there is a problem. Watch what happens in the navbar over here when I refresh and just watch quickly over here. Refresh and we see these links right here and we don't see the icons. Now, we are actually still logged in. I've not logged out yet. So why is this the case? Well, remember when we first load the page, the user is null to begin with in the store. And we only ever update that when we call that mutation. 
and we only ever call that mutation when we either log out, log in, and sign up. So not when we first load the page, right? So when we first load the page, it just remains as null. So what we need to do is when we first load the page, we need to make an initial connection to Firebase and say, look, is the user who's just loaded the page currently logged in or not? And then that will send a response to us. When we get that response, we can then commit the mutation to update the user if they're logged in. If they're not logged in, it can remain as null. It doesn't matter. But if they are, then we can say the user is the user who's logged in. And then we'll see the correct content on the page. So we're going to do that next.